Hello everybody, it's Ronnie here. We are here to talk about all things firefight. A little bit of dead zone, but largely firefight. I'm here with the the power behind the throne, the okay, um, insanity that is Matt Gilbert. <laughs> so we are going to kind of dive in. We've just come off the back of two huge months of um, firefight love. Uh, lots of releases, lots of very cool things. It all kind of starts with this book. So just tell us a little bit about the book. Why is it here? What 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 purpose was it? Well, I guess it, for the firefight journey, yeah. um, you know, it's, we started with there was a Kickstarter for, for many for, many years for ago. Many, now. many years ago, um, and I don't think we were quite happy with how that that rule system looked. Lined and, up. And that felt. was the first warpath, as it yeah. was. And that was supposed to be dead zone goes into warpath, goes into no, goes into firefight, goes into warpath. Yeah, and okay. there was and firefight was written there, and it was kind of a it was a, a, almost a version of the warpath rules. It didn't quite feel right, and it was a bit incongruous with that journey. Of, yeah, uh, uh, of dead, dead zone. You painted some stuff. Go up to the next That's level. Right. Yeah. So then we we looked at so last year we looked at firefight again. Yeah. And, and addressed that with looking at dead zone, taking the guys from the dead zone rules committee and stuff, yep. and, and kind of merging all that together. Where's the mantic DNA in yep. here? And Andy Jarre um, wrote that, and it was gorgeous. Yeah. You know, I played it before we kind of printed it, and I loved it. It felt very slick, very mantic. Yeah. Uh, if you know dead zone, you know it. The stat lines are similar, yet the DNA felt like a squad based war game. Yes. Not a scale up. And that's the hard challenge. That was what we had. We got right with Warpath what, uh, Firefight 1. We very much got right with Warpath 2. That, you know, even Kyle, who's a died in the War Kings war boy, lost his knickers when he played Firefight. You know, yeah. like, oh my God, Ron, this is wow. This is so fast and so slick. And hence why I think people are getting tournaments going and, yeah. and so on and so forth. Um, and so, and then you know, and I think at the, a year on from that game, we obviously had a lot of feedback from the community. Um, we had some of our ideas of what we wanted to do. We wanted to take the game. Um, so we looked at what do we do? Do we, you know, we'd originally brought out the two books. And, and so I remember you explained this to me very cleverly that we, when I've got the rule book, we could just update the forces list. Yep, absolutely. So which we did by merging the two books back <laughs> okay, to one. Okay, right. Yep. So <laughs> classic. We'll, again, we, yeah. We've gone from two books back to one. And that's because there was a bit too much stuff that you wanted to put in the rule book. Yes, there was, it was, there, there was, Obviously, the force list, big overhaul based on all the feedback and tournaments. But there was there were things in the rules and it just all encompassed. It, it almost like, needed that clean eyes RC, yes. one year of feedback. So the yeah. containment protocols this year is a bit bigger update than normal. Yes. And what I can certainly say now is this feels very much like the, I don't know if you call it, the, is that third edition or is it 2.5? Whatever it is, it feels like it's it's the game now. This is it. Yes, You've absolutely. now got it. it that's yeah. the rules. Well, of course, each year or so, we'll tweak them like we did with um, Clash of Kings. But fundamentally, the core rule set is now not only super slick, but balanced, army list building. This is it. Yeah. We can now get behind it and really push it and go for it. And Is that where you're yeah, seeing it? Absolutely. And That's yeah. what this process was? You know, and, and that's, that's you know, not, the, not just the rules committee who've done a fantastic job with it, but they've taken feedback from not just tournament players, but the community as a whole. So it's, you know, we've addressed all types of player have been addressed in this book. And I think it's really, it's the polished article now. Yeah. And I think if you're going to pick up, and the, the, the draw here is, you know, with firefight or sci-fi games, within the Zoom stick, there's two flavours of two player sets, yep. but you get the rule book in here. I mean, you, you get it. We've got this beautiful yep. range of plastics. You know, they've been out for years, but we've not really been able to push the whole thing and get people super excited about it. I mean, the tournament scene, do it over the wall because it never felt we had it just right. And I think we're there now. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's just now refining and thinking, but it's there. Now, you made a mistake by going on an aeroplane with me to Poland. Yes. Yeah, and we had four <laughs> hours in the uh, lounge on the way back. So we got ambush sets. We got three Kings of War armies. We also got another bit of a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. Vehicles. <laughs> well, I call them tanks and panzers, but it's not it's vehicles. Yeah. So go on, talk us through that. What that the, this rule book doesn't just have war and firefight, forty figures and a couple of vehicles. The core kind of premise. No, so there's there's a different way of playing. So no, you're you're you came at me as saying. I want a tank game. <laughs> um, I said, okay, I'll process that and work out how I do that. And what I actually <laughs> meant, because I didn't mean tanks, I meant vehicles. Yeah. So uh, we put a lot more vehicles 
with expansion kits and everything else and working with partners into the standard firefight game. But in addition, in the book, you'll find a new game mode called Annihilation, which turns the force organization on its head. So it's a mechanized one with a little bit of inventory rather than the other way around, which is your standard kind of loadout. Um, and some specific scenarios for playing those big vehicle battles and, um, and, and sorry, I, I, tank battles, sorry. It's a tank battles, <laughs> tank battles with vehicles in it. Yeah. And I think this is, because I think there's something about a sci-fi vehicle game. A, it's never been done. Every time any other game, it drifts away again because it, we've got beautiful vehicle kits, but you need choice. You know, you need variety. I mean, there's three plastic turrets in the Forge Father tank, but then we've got more. You know, we've got some more conversion. We've turned it into proper APC where the troops come out from the front because I think when, you, when you've got vehicles, you can, but you... You've got to be able to play them, but actually, if you if someone has a tank army and you have an infantry army, the mech the, the mode isn't quite right. You can get some unfair battles, which is what we tried to eradicate. So I think what we've created with annihilation is let's just get all our tanks out and just play with lots and lots of tanks. Yeah. You still need infantry because they take the strategic points they hold, but you're just adding a few more vehicles to add character flavor. Well, yeah, and just, and just changing one piece changes the whole silhouette and look of that that model. Yeah. So yeah. So um, and obviously you can get completely different rules for it as well. So yeah. yeah. And we love. And I think you love. And you know, here's this coming out a little bits of resin. You know, just changing the panels to give it some more character. And there's another one of these with a load of rockets up the side. And there's a shield generator one. Yeah. All sorts. Yeah. yeah. And um, so you know, really a whole load of gameplay aspects and a fun weekend of play. Now I don't know if it, the firefight not be, might become as many annihilation players as. As, as infantry and tank players but whichever way it is I think they're both balanced they're both there they're both slick give them a try yeah absolutely and we, we work with partners such as Warlord and Archon to get some extra kits in there which yep. we rolled into our armies there were some bits that weren't didn't make sense to put out as a as a retail launch Yep, so um, there were things that we'd sculpted in the past but never got out. So there's some guys for the Hornets in crew for the Hornets. Right. Um, there was a mm. conversion that the RC wanted for the mule, right. which was quite a heavy, chunky resin piece that goes sits on the back with lots of different turrets. Um, so didn't make sense to do it, well, certainly initially in, yeah. in resin. We've got it in the vaults. If it kicks on and people want it, of course, we can pop it out. We can put it in the extended range. But at the moment, we thought, well, let's get it all out there, see where it goes, and let's enjoy it. We've got crew. We've got cool things. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know, if, if, if there's a clamour for it, no problem. We'll put it in resin. If there isn't, it's it's wonderful. So there's, I mean, the game feels like it's in a really great place. Oh, it, yeah. Brilliant. I think Absolute concrete. We've got yeah. five years of growing this baby now. Let's yeah. get on with it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Rules Committee have done a brilliant job. Yeah. Rules Committee. Yeah. And so, and the kits are there. We've got a big range of plastics. We've got some nice resin add ons to give you variety. So, um, if you've ever thought about it, get on with it. You know, have a go at it. If your mates have been holding back or you've not been quite sure, now's the time. And we're going to support it all the way through next year with, um, you know, with free rules, and I think the tournament scene starting to kick off. And I was one the other week. There's you know, obviously dead zone scene still very popular and everything else. Yeah. Um, that's not all the sci-fi stuff we've got coming out, is it? I think there's a whole yeah. exciting range of um, buildings, and and this is specifically we've kind of done some scatter terrain here um, for your dead zone players. Yep, I think it also. Um, is is great for any for gaming tables and for your, and for your building. Um, yeah, I mean, you, it's typical stuff that you need to break up your fire lanes and stuff like that, scatter, hide behind, that's yeah. so on any battlefield. And templates, so you can actually put a mat down, put your buildings on the edge, and therefore there's no argument whether you're in or out of the building. So there's a whole load of really wonderful things, some walls coming, some off Xenos, craters, just very simple, whack it down, plastic terrain to allow you to just make your gaming table more fun, um, more interesting, more varied. Trees, for those that want to go down that route as well, great for a dead zone. I've been using those on my dead zone table. Yep. So lots and lots of very good stuff, um, both for your battlefield, the rules themselves, the future. I mean, what, what have we done this year? What are we doing next? Where are we going? Um, I guess obviously you know we started the year with Maison Labs. Yep. We added that into Firefight and gave them you know made them a, an army and they're now obviously part of that book. Yep. So they were they were in our companion for as, as a beta list for for and the year until now. And then they vermin. You've got the play. You've got Maison Labs. Yeah, you've got Marauders, which are all GCPS. All of them have got new units. All of them have got loads of new vehicles. So you know, Forge Fathers. Best, so I think, best. Um, Forge Fathers. They come up a little short. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so he did that. Enforcers, obviously. Asterians, there they are. Okay. So plenty of choice of armies 
you've got all of the different fighter styles vermin so there's that okay so we're going now what else what else what else is coming up we did maze on obviously we've done a lots of the the tanks and the vehicles and really added some variety and some choice there so that's something for everybody every single army got new rules in their army list they got new vehicles yep. and the brigades so they fight differently as a three than they do as a single tank Yep, can do it. Yep, in With different that. formations and things like that. Um, so later on in the year, just before Christmas, is a bit of a surprise for the enforcer players. They might have known some new units, the things like this, perhaps. There we might are. Be, might be turning up. Okay, Christmas. and are these so, in the rule book? They are already in there. Okay, yet. so yeah. if you go and read the rule book and you just look at what Matt's revealed there, there's enforcers coming, and then we we head into the new year and uh, new army coming. New army in the uh, early part of next year, yeah, which is uh, exciting. So just finishing sculpting. Uh, it's all out there. The bits that are done are out for painting um, with various painters, and then that will all come back in. We've had some background written, and so, yeah, that's coming too. And exciting how are you sleeping well? How are the nightmares at the moment? Mm, yeah, yeah right. they're creeping in. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you and I did a video a couple of, well, a month ago maybe now, about a different scale. Yes. And I think one of the charms is we've kind of probably pushed the 28 as far as we go. For any sane person, obviously, I still want to play 20,000 point battles with a thousand tanks. But normal people say at certain points, Ronnie, uh, to get bigger battles, you need to go small. Yeah. Uh, what was the what was the feedback from our um, survey that we did? Incredible. I mean, I was, I was expecting, as you, you normally do for a survey, maybe some hundreds. <laughs> yeah, I think 12 we had some, people some, and their some, dog. <laughs> yeah, I think we had some thousands. Yeah, thousands, wasn't it? Well yeah, into the thousands. Incredible. Of, uh, of people really back unequivocally get on with it Mantic we want to see this we want to do it they love the rules um, overwhelmingly plastic but are not insignificant people voting for 3D printing as well yep. so Matt and I are getting our heads together we are going to find a way to make sure this comes to life and happens for you so we will be working on it very excited for it all the work that you did earlier in this year has clearly um, hit a chord so that's a whistle stop tour of our Warpath Universe. It is exciting. Please come join Absolutely. us. Please go and, you know, we're going to get the free rules uh, updated to this new version. If you've ever thought about giving this game a try, now is a bloody good time to do it. And if you've been playing it for a while and love it, go spread the word, please. Matt, yep. thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers, everybody. Man. See you Cheers, soon. guys.